Hi everyone, today we will be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series panel Define Custom Keypad. Now the Seymour HMI panel uses pop-up system default keypads. I was recently asked to enlarge the keypad to make it easier for the operators. Now we're also looking at enlarging the, the, at the existing system default key, uh, keypads and this is essentially good to touch screens over 10 inches. We we'll also look at how to find a custom keypad for the Seymour HMI. So if we look at our software up here on our screen, uh, we did have a, uh, on screen number six, we have an object entry. And in here, we actually had our numeric entry. And if we double click on it, what you'll see is that we have under the general tab, the system default EA9. So that's where we actually determine which keypad we will use for our uh, editing. So we'll just hit uh, cancel for that. And if we hit the simulator, what you'll find, um, and we'll start this, and we'll turn it on to um, our bezel. And if we select our screen number six, object entry, and we were to mimic that, you'll see how small this numeric keypad is. It's good for uh, touch screens, you know, less than uh, six, six inches or less, but when we have 10 inches or more, you'll find that it gets kind of small for the operator's fingers to actually touch it. So what we're going to do is enlarge that keypad. So let's just exit out of our simulation. So we'll escape out of that, exit of our simulation, and now we're back to our regular key. Now, detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So what we're going to do is uh, go to our uh, function under navigation and then the panel manager. Or what we can do is we go to setup under panel manager. So either one will take you to our panel manager. And if you look down here, you'll actually display, show this uh, option for display large keypad on panel. We select that, hit OK. Now when we go to our simulation, we'll start that up. And again, we'll put the bezel on, look, make it look like our Seymour. And when we hit select screen, we'll go to our object entry. And now when we enter this, you'll see the numeric uh, entry now is quite large. So the operator's fingers will not have to uh, accidentally maybe touch a couple. So we can now uh, 405, enter. So that's a, um, a quick way of actually uh, enlarging those system keypads. So let's exit out of that now. And the other thing we can do is actually create a custom keypad. So back on our screen page, you can see over here besides our screen, we can go to our define keypad. Now, once we hit the define keypad icon, our keypads actually now appear. You'll see our system default zero, uh, one, and you see the different pads that we have. Two, three. So we find the keypad that will um, be the same one that we, we will be using, which is actually, um, well, it's gonna be similar to uh, system uh, default one and in order to actually modify this keypad what we do is right click on here and we can select copy screen or we can use uh, control C to copy then we right click again and we hit paste screen or we can use control V to paste that screen what it will do is automatically move it down into user defined keypad and whatever number that we are currently on. So in our case here, it's user defined keypad number two. And now I have full control over how I'm going to uh, modify this keypad. So I can go here, I can then look at the properties. We can change the background color um, to something else. Um, we can now take our buttons here. We can now make them larger. So we'll have to um, 
experiment experiment around a little bit we can um, uh, take that particular entry key bed and we can actually make the text a little bigger so we just made one of the keys a little larger so once we're done with that we can always hit save it will actually save that information for us so if we look at our, our one that I've already pre-made and this is our uh, custom keypad you can see we can even ask, add logos to the options here so what we'll do is actually um, save this so we can use this on a variety of projects so we're going to uh, put it into our library in order to do that what we do is we hit edit and then we'll select all and when we hit select all right click and you will see object to library and we'll call this um, ACC custom keypad and what we want to do is save the tags because in this case here this is a keypad so that the tags will be the same no matter what uh, EA9 HMI we're going to be using so we'll just hit OK and now we've saved that keypad into a custom keypad and if we look at our library now what you'll see is that we now have our ACC custom keypad all ready to be used um, in other projects in our library so let's go back to our screen selection and again we'll call up our numeric entry and instead of the default system we're going to be using our user defined keypad one so and we can preview this in order to see what it's going to look like so that looks pretty good hit the exit exit and we'll hit OK now we can hit simulate to actually simulate the uh, project turn on the bezel again and now we'll set select object entry we'll change our numeric entry and you can see now we have a custom design keypad just for uh, us in our application so we'll put it 4000 enter and it comes up so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below if you have any questions about the video please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it if you want more information about us or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging please click on the link in the description below to get it a new video is put out every Monday so make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can get more videos like this in the future remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.